Now we'll see how we can do validation of our models. We'll be exploring the validate object that model class of backbone.js has got and then we'll see how we can make use of is valid function and validation error property. So let's start with model validation. So we have created one page called modelvalidation.html and included the script called modelvalidation.js. Now this one is just having the basic model to do item. So we have created the model class over here. Now, if we have to ensure that whatever to do item that we are defining, it has to have a task. So in that case, what we can do is we can simply make use of the validate object that backbone model class provides. So we'll say validate and then a function which will contain attributes as parameters. So we'll say attributes and inside this we'll see that if the attributes dot task is not defined then we will return an error message which will say task is mandatory. Now if we have to make use of this what we'll do is we'll create an instance of this model class. We'll say where to do item equal to new to do item. Now if I run this one in browser over here in the console, you won't get anything as of now. But if I say whether this model is valid or not, to do that we can simply go ahead and say to do item dot is valid which is a function basically. So whatever value it has got will be logged in the console. Now if I run this one, you will say it's coming as false. Now to make use of the validation error property, we can simply go ahead and make use of the model instance over here itself to do item dot. And then you will see validation error property. And here you can see that error message coming up task is mandatory. Now if we set the task over here for to do item, we can do that by making use of the set method. So to do item dot set and inside that we'll have the task attribute and then we'll specify model validation and close it over here semicolon. Now when we do this the validation object associated function will get executed and as you can see now if I do to do item dot is valid over here it will return true because now the validation has passed and similarly if I try to copy and paste this to do validation error over here it will return null because there is no validation error message. So we can do the same over here. We'll simply go ahead and make use of the to do item dot set and then we'll say task colon model validation. And once that's done, we can go ahead and just copy this line over here and see the valid zero not. And then whatever last error validation error message was there, we can get that inside a variable. Let's call it error. And then we'll make use of the to do item dot validation error property. So that gets assigned to the ERR variable, and then we'll have console dot log, and inside that we'll say. And now we'll check this one out. So, but the first one is false, then task is mandatory. After that, when we are setting the task attribute it becomes true and the validation error has gone so that way we can have validation logic and built in our model classes itself